Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today I have a flea market haul for you because even though my car is full of thrift hauls and other things that I need to show you, I'm just all, you know, happy to have gone to a really great flea market. Um, the only downside today was that um, my bestie had to go separately. Um, I point, just pulled just pulled my ponytail and I pulled it way too tight. And now look at it. It's now it's all puffed out because I'm trying to pull it apart. And that's not good. Oh, well, this is one of the things I need to show you today anyway. So um so anyhow, so yeah, so Tammy wasn't there today, so that was a bummer. Uh well she was there. She just was she had to like go fast through it, so I didn't even see her. And um because I probably got there a little, yeah, a little bit behind her. And then I parked somewhere else because I have the handicap thing. And um, so, anyhow, I did see a lot of other friends um, shopping and vending. So, um, I saw Kim of Vintage Soul Thrifter. And I hope that... Um, Frank's migraine goes away by uh, tomorrow night, which is going to be Tuesday night <laughs> because I have them on as my guests Tuesday night. So anyhow, it was it was good though. I got to help her out if, when she needed to go to the bathroom a couple times, so um, that was good. And then um, uh, and also I got to just sit down and chill for a bit, even though like I hardly. I, I didn't have to walk very far. It's the amount of time on my feet. I was I got there a little after f seven. I left a little after two. So, yeah, uh, that's seven hours, <laughs> and it doesn't take seven hours. It's not that big, but again, I just did a lot of visiting and stuff like that. So, um, and then I got stuff, and I I uh, went and hung out with some other friends that I don't see as often. And, um, sat at their booth and while I sat at their booth, um, I got recognized. <laughs> so that was nice. Hello. <laughs> and, um, oh, hello, Doreen, I should say, or is it Dora? Oh, wait, it, I forgot what the name they came up with was vintage Dora, the vintage explorer or something like that. I don't remember, but hello. Nice to meet you. And, um, oh, and I met Jenny, but when I was at Kim's booth, it's so funny. While I was in Kim's booth, my best friend from high school and her boyfriend, they came in the booth and I was, so I was talking to her and then she said, yeah, she, how do you know Kim? She knew Kim from working with her in, at a library or something years ago and then another friend of of Mary's came through and she's like oh hi and and she says like uh I know you comfy cozy living and and Mary's like this is my high school best friend <laughs> and I'm like yeah I'm comfy cozy living <laughs> so I, hi Jenny it was nice to meet you as well uh hey Jules um, Jules is a friend of, uh, Kim's that I met at Kim's rummage sale a while ago. And then I saw her at that fleet, that, um, uh, estate sale on that last day. She made a haul too. And, um, and we were talking about that. And then, you know, so yeah, I ran into her, uh, again now today. And then, um, -da -da -da. and I saw, um, I hate to think that I might. Oh, I saw somebody I know from the farm that I used to sell at. Kit. I don't think she watches. I don't think she knows of this or watches. Um, and I saw my friend Jackie. Jackie Judas. Hello. And we got to get together. That was awesome to see you. <laughs> and I saw, well, I saw um, 
these other vendors that I'll tell you about when I get to the stuff. And then uh, they were like, oh, did you see Sam already? Well, Sam is behind me. So, hey, Sam. Sam's behind me at the second Sunday flea market that we do on um, the second Sunday of every month. And, um, and then I, oh, I had seen before that, I had seen Julie and Julie and her, uh, guy Kelly were selling with Sam and everybody's like, Michelle, you should be selling here. You should be selling here. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see about that. It's only one time a year. It's a really good one, but you know, it's also fun to shop it. So, eh. so we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then, um, let's see. Who else do I need to have a sh make a shout out to? I don't think. Oh, Christina and Bernie. Christina, I see once a year at this usually, or been somewhere she's like doing some vending at. And I met them many years ago, but her sister's usually not with her, and her sister was with her this time, so that was a very nice surprise. So I got to see Bernie and Christina, um, and. That might be it for the people. Oh, well, when I first, first got there, where I walked in, the first vendor I went to, she's one of my regular vendors at Elkhorn, my favorite flea market, and she usually just has um, linens. Well, she's still got this beautiful chenille bedspread. I think it's a twin, and I think it's $47, and... I don't remember, but it's beautiful, and I know she would give me a good deal, but I cannot take that on if I don't know that it's going to sell, you know? Um, but anyhow, I did get um, my very favorite item from her. And you know what? I was going to save it till the end. But you know what? Why not start off with a bang just like today was? Just because it's the first thing I found. And, um, yeah, um, I gotta say, uh, I was very happy. Uh, we got framed in, uh, April 27th, 1996. Okay. Um, Anyway, you guys are all going to see. And this is the keeper. I finally got my keeper. Bam. Do you see that? Uh-huh. $3. $3. Do you see this? Oh, my God. Look at her colors. Her. Oh, God. I love her. She's little Coco Pa Indian girl. Oh, little Coco Pa, you are mine. Yep, you are. This one's the one that's gonna stay with me. I always knew I was like, I'm gonna. I sell. I sell a lot of stuff, and this is plastic and it's cracked, and I'm probably gonna replace it. And this is just some plastic, ick, you know. But um, I I think I'll probably replace it. And, uh, I mean, we'll see, you know, but I'm in love and $3, like that, this is how my day started. You guys know that's my favorite artist and look, it, look, yeah, I just was over the moon. So, and then, uh, I wish I could... Well, let's see if I can try to get to it and um, kind of show it in a certain kind of sameness of order. We'll see if I can. Um, oh, I spent more than I realized. I forgot. Ah, that's all right. <laughs> okay, so then... At the same vendor, I got uh, all of this. Yeah. 
all of this. Um, all of, I mean, there's a lot. A lot. It smells a little, you know, attic -y. I'm sure that being laundered will help it. And it is a, like, a, a light green, sagey green, like it's showing. And she did me right. So, of course, I got more stuff. Um, I got this little Christmas doily. I got these. Um... You know, again, like I wasn't going to get them. She's like, I'll just grab them and throw them in there. <laughs> so two of them are blue and gold. Great colors if they are, you know, if you have something like that. And then this is like a, I would, I don't know. I'm going to say pink or peach for now. I thought it was pink. I'm going to go with peach. Um, I'll tell you, I'm going to. I don't know. It might be a light pink. I'm going to have to put it against some things because <laughs> it's just one of those things. And then this, this is going to be so cool against something black. It looks like a spider web, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. That's super cool. And then... In this same booth, right? Still in my first booth. I mean, who knew? Who freaking knew? And now it's the one little thing has come undone, but I'll be able to get it in there. A little, like a binding. Oh, crap. Hang on. Un momento, por favor. Well, it's wanting to curl, and I need it to go straight, so I'll just do it later. But you guys, look at this. What? 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 De Grazia and Mexican Cookery, illustrated by De Grazia, written by written Arida Davenport, published by Arizona Highways naturally. Um, yeah, this is everything right here. Okay. Look, there's pictures of them in the contents. This is from 1976. I mean, he, so he was still alive. It says to Raymond Carlson, the creative genius behind Arizona highways as its editor from 1938 to 1971, a true gentleman and friend, De Grazia. And, you know, it might be Grazia. I don't know, but I say Grazia. So, whatever. It's, I mean, it's like there's a preface, and then there's, like, art, uh, more of the artwork. I am, like, so in love with this. So there's appetizers. Look at the little birds. Gazpacho. Cheese crisp. Mm. Oh, pictures. Nachos. I mean, look at that. Oh, I love them even more now. Nachos. Albanda Albandiga's soup. Guacamole, 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 chili con queso, oh. oh my gosh, hot bean dip, salsa, I love, oh look at that one, look at her, I need that, and I like this, salsa, Spanish chicken, oh, chicken <laughs> uh, in different images on every page sour cream enchiladas look I gotta tell you I I make a good enchilada I, I make a great ground turkey enchilada 
So I could probably make a good one with meat. I mean, just replace it, right? <laughs> Chili con frijoles. Chimichangas. Oh my gosh, I could make them. Oh, that's interesting. Green chili burros. Look at them. Oh, look at all the little burros. Tacos. <laughs> um, because, I mean, they probably tell you the right way. <laughs> Chicken enchiladas. Chili's rellenos. Tostadas. I love tostadas. I don't, I know it's all the same really, but beef enchiladas. Enchilada sauce, frijoles refritos, Spanish rice, sopapillas. Uh, I would try to, I would like to try to make that. It's considered a bread and it's a deep fried bread that will puff up like little pillows to produce a crunchy change from tortillas. Great served with soup or guacamole. Also maybe served hot. Drizzled with honey or sprinkled with powdered sugar. Hello, I'm in. Empanadas de fruta. Okay, wait, what? W wait, what? I... <gasps> Hold on. Empanadas, turnovers are a delicious, spicy, south-of-the-border treat that is a proper finish, right, for any meal. Proper finish, people. May be filled with cooked dried fruit, pumpkin raisin, sweet potato pineapple, brown sugar raisins, and cinnamon, or favorite dessert filling. Oh. Okay. If I haven't talked about this, I found out about a week or two ago that um, the Mexican pizza at Taco Bell, oh yeah, that was just a brief little special. It didn't come back permanently. So when I went back, it was not available. Mm -mm. So I was not happy. Okay. But I digress. Now, however, I am still fighting for the return of the caramel apple empanada. Because it is delish. It is so delish. So, um, me thinks I'm going to try to make some. Because if I, uh, I'll just get, a, get the uh, apple pie filling and caramel. Like, I wonder if I would use caramel candies. Or just like the um, caramel that you put on, like Smucker's caramel. <laughs> um, you know, like for ice cream. Cinnamon and cloves. Mm. See, it says here, filling dried, two cups cooked dried fruit, three-fourths cup sugar, one teaspoon cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon cloves. I mean... I might be making this on what will be yesterday for you. <laughs> I I mean, for real. <laughs> okay, continuing. <laughs> continuing. Oh, corn tortillas. Mm, I love Mexican cornbread. What? Pa pastel de elote corn pie is what most Norte Americanos call cornbread. Fresh corn may be used to produce superior flavor with the addition of cook, cooked crumbled bacon. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I do like some cornbreads. Flour tortillas. Mexican flan. Okay, I'm always down when there says something about caramel. <laughs> Always. Mexican chocolate. 
Mexi Mexicans are very fond of chocolate. Even fowl and meats are cooked in spiced chocolate sauces. A nice ending to a spicy meal is cho Mexican chocolate that may be served hot or cold. Okay, another possibility. Mexican wedding cookies. Mm. I just love desserts. Ponche de piña. Fruit punch. Oh, fruit punch. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's a picture of Ted. It doesn't even say his first name anywhere, I don't think. It just says De Gracia. Everywhere. Like when they talk about him, when he's referred to, it's like just every anywhere. So anyhow, here's my guy. Oh, man. This is just so cool. And I I want to go to that DeGracia place in um, Arizona. Bucket list. Who lives near that? <laughs> I, um, yeah, I mean, I really do. I'm, I, I'm so happy. I, I can't even believe I found that cookbook. I don't know. It's just so, so weird. So, so, I don't know. So, okay. Anyhow. And then the same people I got, I think I might need to turn on a light. Uh, that's good. I got this. Oh, man, I hope that comes clean. But, I mean, I don't know. The The whole thing is great. The frame and the picture are fantastic. So. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I got up at 530, so, or whatever. Yeah, 545. I don't know. I'm tired. Okay. So that's what I got at the first one. And then the very next, the very next one I got, I got this little gal. And uh, got a couple few things. Okay, that and that. I think I got this. Huh. I got more than that. This. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Am I dizzy? Maybe I got the DeGrazia at the next one. Because I got more than this at her. Why is her mouth funky? Anyway, she's adorbs. And she is tiny Tina? Tiny Tina, made in Hong Kong in 19... Fifty, sixty, nineteen sixty-seven. Nineteen sixty-seven. That makes sense. That, that seems accurate. Tiny Tina. Look at her. Oh my God. I had to. She was so cute. Yes. Well, isn't that just the? I love the coat. It's like a swing coat. And then she's. You know, she's cute. Yes, she's cute. So the 
cookbook. I don't know. I don't care where it came from. I think it came from that first one though. Okay, then I got I got this. I I this is I think this is pretty incredible. And I'm gonna be like hoping and praying that if I find a place, I'll have like a proper window. And this is you guys. It's been so long since you would see, like, the thing, you know, to have a, a, a shade. Like, a shade. An actual shade. You guys, look at that. First of all, look at that. And then, it's this. I, and I mean, I don't really want it to be black in there. But, you know what? Every room should have a touch of black, they say. I mean, this is fantastic. So if it, I mean, otherwise it's going in a different place, but this was, I just, I mean, come on. I, oh yeah, I couldn't, I, I lost my mind a little bit. I thought it was the neatest thing. I'm like, is this a, like a shade, <laughs> you know, cause you just don't see that anymore. Blinds have freaking taken over, and I'm not a big fan of the blinds. Is that? No. It's being the neighbors or something. All right. So then, um. I don't think I bought stuff for a while then. I don't think I did. And, uh. I thought I bought a book, too. This one, maybe it was, no, this one I got later. So, I don't know. Anyway, then I got, I want, um, I'll show you these next. Um, so the friends and friends of my, well, they are, I, I mean, I would, I would say that we're getting to be friends. This um, sweet young couple um, that I got to know, uh, I, I met them at, at uh, the other flea market that I go to a while ago, and um, And I got the the um, turquoise freedom phone earrings from them. I bought those from them. So um, anyway, so today I got I got these. She makes these, so I got these, and I got these, which I'll be um, wearing on. Uh, I'll be wearing these Tuesday night. You'll see them then. That's all I'm gonna say. And these, which at first I thought they were black, and I was on the fence because I have, you know, the my earring, my Ke earrings from Kelly that are like my wooden black ones, you know. Um, and so when I saw that these were like a deep green with the wood, I was like, oh, that's perfect because they're different then. So those three. And this super cool scrunchie she make, made. Look, shrooms, flower power, shrooms, flower power, shrooms, flower power. <laughs> so that was awesome. And this bracelet, which I love, 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 love. And this bracelet, which also has a little mushy right there. <laughs> they had earrings like that too, but I didn't think I'd really wear those. These I will wear for sure. So I was happy. That was good stuff. That was good gettings. Okay, then I got another one. And these, these people did not want to make deals with me. Uh-uh. They gave me 
I don't know, like a dollar off or something like that, whatever. So I'm keeping this and I'm using this for my jewelry sale that I'll be having, um, not jewelry sale. I'm having at my flea market, at the next flea market, I want to do some displays for some of my jewelry. And so, and maybe I'll use it on my sale with uh, Sabrina in a couple weeks too. I don't know. Anyhow, this, and it is AMC Silver Plate India. So I love it. I think it's super cool. And look who finally found her own dream pet. Mm -hmm. It's not oldie, but it's a goodie. <laughs> so I have, I, I think I've, uh, um, I do feel like I have a lion, but not this one, not like this. Um, they did have, and there's the tag. They did have um, a, a Rufus the dog, which I have so many different Rufus the dogs, but it was a graduate, which I don't need. I don't want, I should say. Um, there was another Poncho the donkey, which uh, I think that's his name. I have two different variations of, I think, or they're both the same even, maybe. And then there was a little mouse, and I he didn't have a tag and I wasn't sure, so I passed on him. But I did get this one all by myself, all for myself. And it was $5, so it was nice to pay a good price on that. Oh, yes. Here's something I got for you guys. Although, I don't know. I don't know who will want it. And maybe this would be better at my flea market. I don't know. But it's... I can't really show it, actually. But I'll show it like this. It's a... It's a nudie. So when you push that, her, her top and her bottoms come down. There were two of them, but this is... This is the better one. I mean, they were both pretty cool. But they're good. They're, um... I don't know if I need to put something in them to make them work. But, um... I feel like this is going to be uh, a big hit <laughs> for somebody's husband. You know what I mean? So... Because, you know, I mean, it's kind of cool looking. You know, you just set it somewhere. And then, you know, whatever. I don't know. It happens. Sometimes you just find things like that and it says, hey, you know. I've seen glasses lately. People have had the glasses. And, uh, and something else. A pen or something, right? So then I got... Now, I was going to get... They had poodles. And, you know, I got a cool off on the poodles because um, nobody's buying them. So it's, it doesn't make sense to, you know, the right people aren't at my sales for the poodles. Um, I have them. I have some, I should say. Um, but I'm not going big time and finding all the cutest poodles anymore. If uh, those people don't come to my sales, it doesn't make sense for me to, you know, invest in that. So if you're one of those people that loves poodles, then tell me and I will, you know, but again, I'm just, I'm not going to do it if it doesn't make sense for me. But I do have dear people. I am one of them, but this is not one of them that I want. It's redware, and it's adorbs, because it's a deer. And I have horse people, and I got two of them. Aren't they the cutest? I thought they were really neat. I think this uh, suits them, The this, like, redware and this paint and, you know, the look. 
<laughs> I think they're cute. So I hope that somebody out there does too. Maybe Val, maybe somebody else. I don't know. Um, I need to take a sip. Okay. Um, I've got, I'm saving the, the best one for last on this sale. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, I think I got another one somewhere else too. I think. Maybe, maybe I didn't. I'll have to clean that up. Um, I have to say, I only got three books today. But there were three pretty cool books, I say, for what it's worth. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. This is the first thing I got in that booth, actually. I think it's amazing. It's beautiful. little reverse paint uh, silhouette of distinction from an old original hand cutting uniquely transferred in enamels to glass preserving the full sharpness of detail <laughs> that's what it says anyway but I love it you know she's the fan she's got all her she's just all beautiful and this one is square the other one I found, I think, recently was like that. But this one's square. I'm finding these. I I saw two of the con, convex um, bigger ones that are like more like colonial looking or whatever. And that's why I didn't get them. Because to me, they were too like old looking, I guess, is the word I would choose for that. And then I got this book, and you know, there's like dried candy. And I mean, okay, so there's dried candy on the back and on the bottom too. But anyhow, I loved, this is from 1975, fourth printing, 1978. I, as a child, loved watching the reruns of the Mickey Mouse Club, you know, with um, Jimmy, with the IE Jimmy, I think it is. Let me see if I can find him. There he is, Jimmy. Jimmy. And, um... She better be on here. I, I mean, hang on. Oh no, she's not. Well, it's it's it, she doesn't have to be. Anyhow, so they um they would show Mickey Mouse Club in black and white, this, you know, the original, and then the remake one, which I freaking loved. Because then when I was in sixth grade, we went to California, and we went to Disneyland, and yes, I still have my ears that are the same color as my favorite Mouseketeer, Lisa Welchel, who then went on to Facts of Life fame. Thank you very much. Also loved Julie, Julie Pekarski, I think her name is. She also went on to Facts of Life fame, although she only lasted for the first season. Mm. But that's okay. They were my favorites. And I don't know why. I just, and who knew that they would be the ones to take off. I don't remember anybody else from that e that that like generation. I'm gonna have to do a little work. 
because then who knows you know i mean because that next one that came out had everybody right it had J, you know, my boy, J, Justin Timberlake. It had Ryan Gosling, I think. It had Britt. It had uh, Christina. I mean, I don't even remember who else, but, like, they had everybody. So, who knows? Maybe I just don't remember, you know, but I'll have to look into that. Anyway, so I got it. And mainly, <laughs> there's the other reason I got it. Cause then I was like thinking of Christy and Pluto and I just was like, oh, you know what? I could just take out a page and send it with, you know, a purchase or, or I could send the, sell the book or I could, I don't know, all these thoughts. Cause like, even that's cute for somebody that does dance, you know, but I just love that, that iteration of Mickey. I love that. I love that. So there's that. And then this book I got, I thought was so cool. Maybe it's the colors. Maybe it's the font. Maybe it's the, the cool inside. It's called Hello Rock. And, um, I dig it. This is from 1955. 65, 1965. Oh, this belonged to Carl Allen Henricks. Okay. And it's, it's just, I dig it. I like the, the, um, graphics. It says, hello, rock. Gee, you're a pretty rock. Are these other rocks your friend? Friends? Is this one your mother? Is this one your father? I mean, it's just cool. And I like, the, like I said, I like the illustrations. It's got a little, um, you know, attic smell. It's okay by me. I, um, I don't know what it is about this book, but I might keep it. I might keep it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, and then my favorite, oh, well, not my favorite purchase of the day, because that would be my Cocoa Paw girl, whatever her name was. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to want to sell this or not, because I don't know. I just love it so much. die. It's funny. It's Buffy and Miss Beasley. Oh my god. Oh, the goosebumps I got. I love Mrs. Beasley. Look at cute little Buffy. Look at this, you guys. I mean, I was like, and this is all, the, all these things are published in White Racing, Wisconsin. Yes, Wisconsin. Um, this is from 1960, 65, 6, 7, 8, 1968. I was all of two years old. Um, and then, like, I died because it's actually her. It's It already was out of the book. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But you guys. Oh, they taped her in. Probably not the worst idea. But they taped her in too. Oh, crap. Um, But look! It's actually Buffy! And this is Beasley. Oh, I love you. Look at the graphics. Oh, God, I love this. I mean, it's actually her. It's not this thing, you know, that, that was like probably the, the thing that got me. And there's like all these little pictures like of her in certain things. And then they, and then they have them. And so there's a lot of them are already torn out. 
but like then they have some that are not. And then, <laughs> there's, oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. Um, oh, there's a cradle for Mrs. Beasley. I don't know if that's still in here or not. Anyhow, then put the clothes in this handy carry pocket. Yeah, I feel like I had this. Because that, when I opened that, I was like, something's coming back to me here. So I might have had something like this. O-M-freaking-G. Oh, I love that dress. So, yeah. So, I love it that there's this pocket. I'm all about things like that. Like, I love that little hideaway pocket. So, it becomes like a folder. You see, of all these cute things. Just died. Ah, uh, it's so good. Look at Look at them. Oh. I just love it. I love it so much. I love the graphics. I love it all. Anyway. I mean, it's just great. It's just great. What can I say? I can't get rid of this. So, so far, I, w I would say there's more things that I'm keeping than, than I am selling. But that's okay. That's, that's all right. You know what? That's all right. Darn it. All right. Uh, then I got... I got this. I got these, I should say. I wish this was the price for both of them, but no. Alphonse Mucha. So, apparently, like what DeGracia is for me, uh, Mucha is to Miss Lois and uh, Tracy, Artsy Fartsy. And... I had gotten some other things that they liked and I'm like, okay, I saw these and I was like, um, yeah, I thought, oh yeah, I think I know these. Well, so the funny thing is, is that if you read about Alphonse Mucha, which I mean, it's signed down at the bottom there, there, and then I think it says something else. Well, on this one it does. It says Mucha, and then it says, I don't know, whatever. It says something else. But anyhow, if you read about him, because I was talking to him, um, talking to Kim about him, and it says, like, what he's known for and what he's best known for is Sarah Bernhardt. Um, yeah, guess what I have. Sarah Bernhardt. Mm-hmm. Yep, there you go. Look how beautiful. And then this is Moe and Shandon. Which totally reminds me of, um, on Saturday Night Live, um, Vanessa Bear and Cecily Strong, I think. <laughs> anyway, it's, they're, it, they're so cool and they're on this like wood, Beveled wood. Oh, yeah. They're, they're fantastic. So. I was happy to find those. Um, and then at the same place I got, they had, she had all kinds of stickers. And I got these two for my laptop. Um, okay, I got 
from some of my uh, vendor friends at, um, at the second Sunday. I got um, these from Sam. I bought um, one of them in particular to send to a friend. That's this one. So, it says, here's the fish I promised you. <laughs> Greetings from Post Lake, Wisconsin. I don't know what that is. Or, like, where it is. I don't know. Um, and then this one, it says, birthday greetings. Copyrighted 1907. And this one, it says, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And this one. Good luck and best wishes. This one's pretty beat up, but I liked it. And also I liked it because it's um it's got a stamp. It's written on and it's postmarked April 22nd. 1919 or 1910. I think 1919. And it is, um, it is, it says, dear, bro oh, it's made to Mr. B. Oh, I don't know. It's stamped over that. B. Hanky Almond. No, Mr. B. Hanky Almond, Wisconsin. No, no zip code. Didn't need one. Dear brother, I must tell you that it's in, written in pencil. It's very hard to see. I must tell you that I... Something that... I... Blank Henry went fishing. I blank went fishing. Henry blank Henry went fishing to to today. Okay, to to in the next line day. Today we got to sucker. We got to sucker and on carp. This is all, dear brother. Right soon. R I T S O N. Oh my God. Ooh, yikes. Anyway, there's something to. Oof. Also got this because um, I think now these this is for a resale. Those um, the the um, yeah whatever I tell you that's mine is mine, and then the rest is for you guys. Um, so most a lot of it is. I just thought this was really cool, and so I got you guys this. I think it's really cool. Popping colors. Really cool colors. This, oh wait, is this the one I'm gonna, oh yeah. This is the one I'm gonna keep. It's mushrooms. Little glass box. I love these. Okay, that's the one I'm going to keep, and this is the one I'm going to sell. 
Oh, no. Is it? Oh, I might be keeping this one, too. I think I might keep this one, too. It's the wish. It's the dandelion wish. Like, you know, what I'm talking about. So, I, I might be keeping this one, too. I feel like I got another one, though. I might be wrong. I, I'm, I'm probably wrong. Oh, I got this for me, too. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's just signed by Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. It's off. It's off. I love it. And and this one I'm gonna sell for you guys because it's so good. Look, you guys. Butterflies and the cold cap. I have the, well, I had a mushroom one and like a dummy. I sold it, I think. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I packed it. I don't remember. But I did buy a flower one from somebody. But I, I'm not a butterfly girl. I don't hate them. They're just not my jam. But this is a great jar. And... So, yeah, that. So. All right. So, that stuff. Oh, just love those colors. Then. Uh, let's see. I got, um, oh, from, uh, my friend Christina, I bought, I got these, oh yeah, I got these, I love this one, so pretty. Gorgeous. And I know a lot of people are really into cameos, and I just thought this was beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh, the. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even realize I did that. There. I'm going to have to, like, glue that in. Because it fell out. Isn't that so pretty? This gave me wedding vibes, I'll tell you that. But yeah, I thought that was really pretty. So, those. But I love, love, love that one. All right, then let's. Got this little piece of uh, Viking blue neek. Or so I'm told. So I guess I always thought that they had to have petals on the bottom. So I should check that out. So maybe not. Because it clearly says here. Viking blue neek, small bowl, hex footed, three and three fourths inches high, five and a fourth inches in diameter. So it's cute. It's different than a lot of the ones, like the big, huge ones we see. But it's that pretty color. Yes, it is. So that. And this one person, she had, um, 
she just always has just really random stuff. And um, I do remember buying from her before. And um, so, like, these I bought from her. Just some, they say hello. You guys will probably end up buying, getting some of these if you buy some from me. Um, because, you know, I stick no cards in my, so there's that. Um, and then I got, um, probably should put this, well, that'll be fine for now. Um, hang on just a second. Um, and then I got this book, Lost Bear, Found Bear. I just saw some of the books and it's not in the best condition, but I, again, get drawn in by certain things. And it's funny cause I never saw something. I never saw this in the front. It's at the front like there by the copyright date, which is 1973. It says, Summary. When a little girl loses her toy bear, the whole family rallies around to help her find it. <laughs> anyway, once there was a little girl named Leah. Mostly she was happy. <laughs> so anyhow, I, I, like the, I like the graphics again. I like the the way it looks and says she could sing Frere Jaca as loud as you please. She even screamed. Ooh. All kinds of stuff. I just like the paint, the, the illustrations and stuff. I think it's really neat. And, um, I don't know. I just get kind of drawn in by something like this. Sometimes, like, just the, the picture of all the, you know, people helping her. And then, I mean, like, her in her bed with her cute little pajamas. You know, like, that's what they put the detail on. Her headboard that says Leah. And, I mean, I just, I don't know. Spoiler alert, she found him. <laughs> And then she painted a big, beautiful rainbow. So, I don't know. I just... Is there, like, a common thread here by these two? Um, because they're, they seem to be very... It would be cool if they were the same um, illustrator. Um, but I don't see... This one just says Ra Roger Bradfield. And I don't think it's anybody else. I think it's just him that did the pictures too. So I don't know. Like, I just feel like these two are very like kind of similar. Okay. And so that I got from that lady, I got, um, I got the book. What else did I get from her? I got a book and What did I show you guys? Huh. That's kind of weird. Well, maybe I just don't remember showing you something already. Oh, those note cards. Those note cards and the book. And then, um, and then I end up getting this too. Because I just couldn't put it down. Look at that. Gorgeous. And the back of it, you can see it's older, right? So, yeah, I'm going to have to look into this. I think that's so cool, though. So, I got just only three pins. I tried to not go crazy, but I think I got three really cool ones. Um, so, okay, so then I got um, this pair of shorts. Just a pair of shorts um, by 
just my size. I guess they were from Walmart. I don't care. I got them for a dollar. Just some shorts to wear, you know, because summer <laughs> and comfort. Um, yeah. And then I went like across. So the church, Holy Hill, the parish is the St. Mary's Basilica of, I don't, I can't remember, but Holy Hill is like a landmark around here. Well, out there. And, um, it's gorgeous. And, um, like when I was like 20, I think I walked all the way up the top to the, of the steps and you could see an amazing view. If I did that now, I'd die. <laughs> and, um, and so then, um, I don't think they do it inside the room anymore. If they did, I didn't go in inside the building today. So if they did it, I missed out, which is fine. They used to have something called the boutique, which was like the nicer things. And you could get like, you know, jewelry, some little bits of furniture, some bags, like purses, some clothing boutique they called it it was just a little nicer stuff they had it set up different so today the church people like they had all these different racks of clothing like small medium large plus size and then they had like dollar bins for each size and then they had um oh did i show you these two bracelets that i got too from the girl that did my braid that i got the earrings from yeah i did because the one has a the mushroom i showed you I forgot. Sorry. Um, anyhow, so, and then they had, they had some shoes and then they had tables with some pins and jewelry and it was like that Leah Sophia and something called Park Lane. I don't know that one. And, um, you know, some other like just, you know, uh, costume jewelry. And, um, so anyhow, from them, I end up getting, which I might get, if I get this washed, I'll be wearing this Tuesday night for fall, you know, fall vibes. So I thought it was cool, the colors. So, and I got, oh, I also got this. I guess I did get a piece of jewelry. Oh, cause then they said it, everything was half off. So I end up getting this cause some of their jewelry was like, I was like, it should just be 50 cents or something, but no. And, um, so I got this. I thought it was cool. Now, this isn't something that I would wear because, um, I feel like, well, it does look okay. I don't know. I guess it does look okay. <laughs> Usually I just feel like my neck is too big. You know, but. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be in my, one of my, um, it's going to be in a sale. So again, I just, I like these kind of. Um, the kind of like a rope. Well, this one's like suede. Um, and then I like that. I just like that stone. And then, um, the very last thing I got then was this for me. Oh, there was one booth that I saw some really cool. Um, and they were like $22 for the, um, so I was like, well, no, nope, I can't get that. <laughs> and she had some, um, jadeite and Pyrex and stuff. And the prices were like ridiculous. So sometimes, you know, it's just a lot. Um, Considering this flea market is like a little bit of antique and a little bit of rummage and a little bit of vintage, it's kind of hard because, you know, 
because they, there is rummage there too. So it's hard to like imagine to pay high, high prices. So the next, the one that I'm doing, that's like the next one in the area. That's a little, that's a one time a, a year. Um, the one I'm doing in September, it's, um, it's a mixture. So you'll see people like my friend that's going to be doing it with me. Um, she'll have all rummage, I think. And like, I'll have vintage. So, I mean, maybe I'll have like a little bit of rummage too, but I don't know. We'll see. So, um, yeah. So anyhow, that's it. Um, wow. That was a long one, but I knew it would be. Um, and I mean, like I said, I got, I got videos to do for other stuff, but I just was like kind of, eh, you know, I'm in the zone for this stuff. So let me know what your favorite thing was. Like, did you have tiny Tina? And so she's your favorite. Or do you love that wedding photo and the art deco vibe? Do you love, um, do you think you want to get something for your man? Or do you love the redware? Or, see, I got you things. Do you like the books that I got? I'm probably keeping the rock. But I will sell the Lost Bear Found Bear. Um, do you love that shade I got? Oh, it's so cool. Oh. I just think it's so cool. I I don't know. I've been having a... I've been out of my funk. I'm out of my funk. Let's put it that way. I'm just very, like, positivity right now. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's all, you guys. Have a great, 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 great Monday. So the start of your week. Get it going good, right? Um, please make sure to give me a thumbs up on this video. Leave a comment down below um, that isn't horrible. And, um, you know, because we want to be kind. It costs nothing to be kind. And, um, I like to have my space be a positive one. So, uh, also if you know of anybody that would like this kind of content, share my channel with them. And then, um, most importantly, make sure you're subscribed because, uh, it costs you nothing, but it helps me uh, a great deal. So thank you so much. Have a great week, and I hope to see you tomorrow night at Comfy Cozy Living with Frank and Kim of Vintage Soul Thrifter. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Bye.